and welcome back to another episode so what's going on um, this is taking off right after the last video uh, right here I have a skateboard and normally it kind of bothers me when people ask for free boards like I love giving boards to people who need them like if I'm out skating I usually try and keep an extra board like an old board with me to give out to people um, but when somebody says they want to start skating then I am more than willing to help that because um, the more skateboarders the better honestly and because the more people I have to skate with because I have nobody right now pretty much but the more people I have to skate with uh, the more awesome it'll be so uh, AD if you guys remember him haven't seen him in a couple episodes because he's been busy I've been busy uh, but yeah he hit me up he asked me if I had any extra boards because he wanted to start skating again so I'm gonna go give him a board and we're gonna go see what he's been up to uh, just say what's up I don't he hasn't been in the car since we got the car going so gonna try and uh, maybe take him for a ride we'll see um, but yeah let's go swing over to his house quick I'm actually just a few blocks away because I was in the area already um, yeah so I'm gonna go drop this board off and say what's up <laughs> Damn, son. I don't have a grip tag for it. So oh, that's cool. Good. I can do it. That's pretty cool. I just got that uh, that same camera. T3i? Yeah. T3i. Yeah, mine's getting kind of old. I kind of like accidentally threw it when I was skating the oh, last yeah? time. Like uh, that. I tripped. And... Yeah, the same deal. I just wanted the, the thing that... Yeah, the flip-out screen, that's exactly why yeah. I want it. Yeah. So you're going to start doing videos? Hopefully, yeah. yeah I mean. just need to get some fucking... I just need to think of some shit to do. All right, so we've been still kind of having that, like, decelerating surging issue and random sporadic surges here and there. Uh, the cold start surge, when it does that, I already know it's because I deleted my fast auto valve. So we're going to use a multimeter quick and just test the uh, throttle position sensor. I've had a few few of you guys recommend that to me already, so I appreciate your, your help. So we'll see if this is it, and if it is, sweet, I'll just jack the other one off the brown car. And I don't know if I mentioned it to you guys yet, but I finally got hub-centric rings, so now my wheels are uh, properly mounted on my hub. So a little bit safer at higher speeds. Feels a little bit more solid. Do that and you're all good. Uh, well, we just tested it, and it's at what, 5.8? 5.8, yeah. 5.8, but you kind of look, I've got the OEM, like nobody has messed with it before, so I got those little rivets or whatever on there. So I'm gonna have to end up taking the throttle body off. Uh, I'm not gonna do that today because I don't know, it's too hot and I don't really feel like doing that today. Um, but probably one of these nights at work, I'll pop the throttle body off and drill the pop rivets out or whatever. And like I said, I'll probably just take the TPS off the brown car and then slap it on right away. And if, if I need to, I'll recalibrate it on the other car, if it's an issue on the other car, which, I, like I said, I don't really care about it, so whatever. Um, well, hopefully that should be the main issue of it. Everything else um, should be fine, but yeah. Still looking clean, though. All right, so I uh, just got done talking with AD. We were over there at his house for a little bit. Uh, he had to go help somebody with their car, though, so I am on my way home right now. It's literally like... Probably 173,012 degrees. Uh, this is Arizona life, and I have no AC. Uh, but whatever. So I'm gonna do a poll for you guys once I get on the freeway here in a second, so that way you guys can hear what the straight pipe VTEC sounds like with two and a half inch piping. It'll be sick. So unfortunately, I still don't have a place to mount you guys, and I don't want to put you on the dash because I don't want you to fall. So I'm going to just have to put the camera on the seat so you won't get any cool view of driving or anything, but you should at least be able to get the audio pretty good. So uh, I'm going to set you down now, and I'm going to just get on this on-ramp, and we'll, uh, I'll, we'll let you give you a listen. I just got home, has some dust on there, and I just realized that I need to go to Walmart, I need to get some Plasti Dip to do the edges around the windows or whatever, and then I figure I might as well uh, recycle some of this oil, because I got a bunch of oil, 
but they only let you recycle a little bit at a time. So I'm gonna take those two jugs and I still got like four more over there. Then I gotta sweep out my driveway because I gotta vacuum my car because the inside of it is disgusting. I keep getting all these tree bits around in here from that stupid tree. So yeah, uh, get some plastic up to do this stuff, vacuum it, probably wash it so I don't have to sweep out the driveway so that way I don't freaking spray all the dirt and crap all over the car. And of course we have to find some help. That way that doesn't get all over my carpet. And this one's pretty clean, so I'm not worried about that one. Let's go. All right, so I just had a pretty uh, weird experience. I was uh, talking to one of my coworkers for a minute, and then a lady pulled up, asked about uh, getting a battery installed or something like that. Uh, she was, I mean, she kind of interrupted, but she was nice about it and like, whatever. I wasn't worried about it. But I came back out after getting uh, my positive dip and stuff, and she apologized for interrupting, and she was like, Here, here's a, kind of like a, a token of my uh, apology or whatever. And uh, she gave me this little thing, uh, whatever it is. It's kind of like, I think she said it's called a jujubilee or something like that. It's some sort of fruit type thingy. And uh, she ate a couple of them in front of me, so I hope she didn't poison me. She is an old, sweet old lady. But uh, basically, it's like a dry, tastes like an apple. But like if you ever have those like kids treat like apple crisp thingies that are like dried up apple. Uh, that's kind of what it tasted like. It wasn't bad, but it almost felt like fake fruit in your mouth and uh, it was really weird so yeah thought i'd share, share with you guys that like awkward weird situation so i'm gonna go home i'm gonna cool off for a little bit and uh, when it cools off a little bit later then i'm gonna mask off my window trim and uh plastic it a bit Okay, back at home now. Um, yep, like I said, I'm gonna go inside and chill out for a little bit. Uh, probably mess around on the guitar a little bit. Uh, if you've ever heard people complain about their fingers hurting, or if you guys play guitar and you know, yeah, mine are freaking raw. They hurt so much. Uh, they're starting to callus up though, so that's good. But yeah, I'm gonna go uh, mess around on that and cool off for a little bit and come back out here when it's a little bit cooler. All right, so I went ahead and washed the car up, got it all done and whatnot, and uh, it's the next day right now. Um, kinda got really busy yesterday ended up uh talking with some with the matt on xbox the goat dude whatever um and then ended up editing yesterday's video got that done and then i went and saw the new movie the new it movie and that movie was super sick actually uh definitely recommend it so as for today uh before i gotta go to work here i was gonna be doing the plastic dip on the window trim but realized i don't have any paper to mask off and i don't feel like using 10 rolls of tape so uh, that'll be for another day, probably tomorrow or something, do a separate video on it, so that way if you guys want to know how to do that, we can do that, but yeah, as for that, I'm going to try and figure something else to do. Uh, sway bar bushings should be here today, so I'm probably going to take this to work with me. Alright, so we got our bushings here, but uh, if you see, the Integra is not here because I had to drive uh, this truck home from work last night because... It needed a drive cycle and it's got some issues, so I had to bring it home because none of the other guys really know how to drive stick. So, um, with that being said, I can't really do my bushings at the car here, so I'm going to uh, I'm gonna have to do them at work tonight, which isn't an issue. It'll literally take 20 minutes tops. Not even. It'll take like two minutes tops to get these on. Because uh, basically, just pull the sway bar down a little bit and it just opens up just like that and just slides right in place. So, uh, but yeah, it'll, it'll definitely make a difference. Get rid of some of my clunking since I'm entirely missing the bushing on the passenger side. Um, this video has taken place over the course of three days now, which kind of retarded, but kind of happens when you don't have time or places to do stuff or the material that you need to do it. So, um, yeah, I'm going to just get ready for work here in a bit. And then later on tonight when it's slow, pull my car in, get this done.
So this is the bushing that I'm talking about right here. So what, two 12 mils right there, uh, two 12 mils right there. And then if you guys wanted to see what I did to the exhaust, so we used this section of it, cut it, used really cheap welding stuff. And yeah, it's not the best, but it holds. And you reuse my resonator, and then two and a half inches all the way back to this piece. I gotta replace this gasket though, because it's leaking really bad. And then back to this, up and over. And unfortunately, it stops right here. So I have, uh, sorry, hold on up. I've got the piping for a tip. We just ran out of welding wire. So whenever we get some more wire here, then I can finish it up. So yeah, I'm gonna go grab my 12 mil quick and uh, pop this off. So just like that. All right, so this is what's left of the old one. And here's the new energy suspension one. So uh, first one's already in. So if you guys can see, it's kind of dark under here. Uh, second one goes up right there. So. Basically just threw some grease in there so it doesn't squeak and we'll throw it back on quick. Right, so both sides are done up all nice and tight. Um, yeah, I mean that's literally pretty much it. If you guys can kind of see this last bit of linkage right here, that's basically rubbing on the exhaust. I gotta try and cut that piece off because it's not needed. It's literally just there to take up space. So I'm gonna try and pull the exhaust down a little bit because it's not hot right now and I'm gonna try and just Chop that piece off. All right, so basically what's going on is I gotta notch this basically straight across right there, and then it should clear the exhaust just fine. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna just go take this to the grinder quick, or the cutting wheel. All right, got it uh, notched out. James being a good boss, smoking, like always. Almost as bad as Hayden. <laughs> but yeah, so I just test fit it, and uh, it actually fits now. It doesn't even come close to the exhaust. So, got some clearance. Okay, so the linkage is all bolted up and stuff, so it's really close yet because we did put the uh, exhaust hangers back up, we managed to. So I'm gonna fire it up quick and see if this moves up enough to vibrate to smack that. And then, uh, yeah, like I said, there's the bushings. So, um, get this dropped down a little bit and then fire it up so you guys can get a couple exhaust clips. I'll give it a couple blips of the throttle and see if it rattles. Start her up, not smack my door, and see if it rattles. Yay, no rattles. All right, cue the exhaust clips. Right, so there you guys go i uh, hope you're satisfied with that i know it's still a straight pipe tondo whatever but i dig it honestly like i said i'm going for more of a conjo style anyway uh but yeah that's it uh i gotta basically sit around for another what hour hour and a half i don't even know what time it is yeah hour and a half so yeah i'm gonna chill out for another hour and a half watch some youtube chill 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 a lot of chilling too bad it's not chilling because it's 107 degrees here but yeah uh anyways that's it for this video guys if you enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up subscribe if you feel like it because you're awesome people uh comment down below what you want to see next what you think of the exhaust and uh what else yeah just comment anything but uh, anyways guys i'll see you for the next video take it easy peace out